Hello and welcome to the ASUG News Studio at ASUG Annual Conference in Sapphire Now. I'm Craig Powers and today I'm excited to be joined by uh, two women from Centerpoint Energy. Centerpoint Energy has been highlighted quite a bit in the conference this week, including uh, um, in the keynote yesterday. And, and today, that was about S4 HANA, but today we're going to talk about how they're using HANA for predictive in their call centers. And with me is Stephanie Howard and Kim Rich, both from Centerpoint Energy. Thank you for being here today. Thank, Thank you. you. Great, and how I wanted to start, Stephanie, is how, what was your journey to start using HANA analytics in your, in your call center? What were you doing before, and, and, and how'd, you, how'd you come to start using this? Well, we've really been on a journey at Centerpoint Energy for the last several years. We knew we really wanted to transform our customer engagement strategy, and we wanted to give our agents new tools Right. better visibility to customer relationships and customer interactions. And we've spent, uh, made quite a few investments in our technology space and went live with CRM with a new natural language IVR, with a new website and a new web self-service application. And as we were going through that effort and, and through that journey, kind of the final stage in that is really moving toward true customer intelligence, which will allow us to operate more proactively with our customers as opposed to reactive. Right. We will be able to let our customers know what we know, when we know it, and really respond to the demands of a changing customer expectation in the utilities industry. And, and what, I, what I picture when I'm thinking of uh, predictive analytics in a call center is uh, either you're on the phone and your options are going by, the options you get are based off of your, your records or, or even a call center operative will get um, a little ping and tell them, tell them how to answer a question. Is that, is that how it works? That's a part of the way that we approached it. We really looked at our customer interaction life cycle and we broke it down into six steps. And knowing that we had all the analytics available, knowing that history is going to repeat itself, right. how can we utilize all the data that we have and turn it into actionable intelligence? Whether or not it's a proactive communication, whether mm -hmm. or not it's a call containment strategy inside of our IVR, and then ultimately if it does get to the agents, what can we provide the agents with single click navigations to allow them to interact with that customer on a personalized level? So the agents actually do. They have the capability with a single click to view why we say, using our analytics, why right. the customer's calling. Is it a high bill? Is it a power outage? It is a disconnect, reconnect call. And just with a single click, they have access to all of those attributes that make up that predictive analytics. And how has agent adoption been? The agents have really responded very positively to the new technologies that we've deployed. Over the course of the last year, we've seen our handle times in our call center decrease by over 30 seconds wow. on the whole for all of our different call types. We really focused most of our efforts in the predictive space on our highest volume call mix mm -hmm. call types so that we really felt like we could get the biggest payback for that type of customization and investment and now we have a platform in place that we can continue to grow and expand as we have new services new offers for our customers allow our agents to to have a richer, more consultative experience with the right. customers so that they're not just responding, but they're offering solutions. And we really want to get our agents up to that speed. It's also enabled us to reduce our training time and our training transition mm -hmm. time so that we can do more cross-training, better optimize our, our resources in our call center, increasing our overall agent occupancy by almost 10% wow. so that we have a we can take more calls with less ha less effort in trying to ramp up for mm -hmm. peak times in different lines of business. We can share resources across our electric line of business and our gas line of business and have that more universal call center agent. And how is how has this impacted uh, how the, what the customers think of you? It's been very 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 positive from the customer. Where we've really seen the benefits is in our IVR. Mm -hmm. where we're utilizing the same predictive analytics inside the IVR, where we've seen a 15% increase in call containment just since October. Wow. So now you know, the 
the thought behind that was if you can reduce menu options, then the likelihood of the customer staying in that self-service channel goes up. Wow. And that's what we've been able to prove. That's mm -hmm. great. And I guess to wrap it up, we've got about 30 seconds. What's maybe a one or two lessons that you could pass on to another customer um, who might be thinking of using predictive analytics in their call, call center? Well, I would say a, having a real partnership between your IT solutions organization and your business organization so that you really approach this as a collaborative type of effort, that you get the right folks on the team. You want people who are excited and open-minded to do things a little differently, who are going to challenge each other to be innovative and and really to use all of the metrics you have at your disposal to decide where you want to make those customization investments or those high value technology type investments. What should you focus on to get the biggest payback for those that effort? That's great advice, just maximizing any resource you have, whether people, numbers, whatever you can find. Mm -hmm. People, data, mm -hmm. team, team, technology, utilize it all. That's great. Well, I appreciate you coming on, it's a great story. Sure, thank, thank you. you. All right. And thank you for watching. For more great customer stories like Centerport Energy, head to asugnews.com.